January now and it's the first time we've been to the plot for a week or two so the first thing as usual that we do when we come to the plot is have a look around see if anything much has happened which in January will be not very much but I thought I'd let you come around with me this time so starting at this corner of the plot if we turn around we can see the raspberries which I'm not really sure whether these will actually do anything or not we might have to replace them they didn't do much growing last year so I'm not very hopeful behind the raspberries we've got the cold frame that uh, Martin and I moved a couple of weeks ago now that's waiting for our permanent home the black raspberries or the black raspberry I think looks a little bit more promising if we move on I'm just going to have a look, oh, see what the hazel trees are doing and as you can see they're loaded with catkins these are actually Kentish cob which produce nuts and if we're lucky we manage to get a few before the squirrels get them Over here we've been trying to sort out the kiwi. Martin's put a couple of new posts in to hold the framework up but we still need a couple more and then I need to finish off tying in the kiwi and also tidy up this rather straggly looking gooseberry that's been hiding behind the kiwi we have a nice row of primroses come up here so I'm going to have to try and take some of the leaves back to let them through a little bit looks as though something fox or something's had a pigeon oh dear Globe artichokes starting to come and in this bit we just have one or two red cabbages which we should be lifting or rather cutting shortly the onions and garlic are still doing fairly well I did have some uh, twigs over them to stop the animals sort of walking over them but I've moved those because when it's windy the twigs tend to blow around and I don't want them to flatten the shoots so they've been moved. Just have another walk across to see how the green manure is doing. The rye grass is still okay, but it looks as though the green manure over here has been affected by the cold weather. Maybe we won't have that much left to dig in. Martin's giving our fruit trees a winter wash. We'll explain a bit more about that later. And on the pear bed, it might look a mess, but quite a lot of those little seedlings are actually annuals and not weeds. We've got cyclamen that have seeded themselves and some foxgloves which will be left quite a lot of cyclamen it's amazing how this spread and then 
these are candy tuft and we've got some aquilae just starting to grow and then some oriental poppies too we did actually plant those No signs of the tulips yet. Said that we had cyclamens popping up all over look, with some in this bed as well. And among the grass. And even under the plum trees. It's all looking a bit bleak, isn't it? The autumn raspberries will be cut right back at the beginning of spring. I usually leave the sort of dead, well, old wood on over winter just in case it gives it a bit of protection there's some more green manure being a bit affected by the cold and the fact that a lot of chickweed grew in amongst it which I've tried to get out some of the soil looks to be drying out already and then we have our, our my early sown annuals which seem to be doing quite well at the moment just be a case of whether they overwinter got corn flowers some poppies I think there's some clark here as well not sure what that one is I think they're calendula Have to see what happens to those. Still got plenty of leeks to harvest. Some kale, not kale, sorry, chard. And the broccoli still surviving. And some cauliflowers and some little savoy cabbages they're quite small but they're quite firm and we get quite a lot out of them actually let's have another little wander over here it's not an awful lot to see but we still have some carrots and under the straw, although you can't see them are some parsnips and the buddleias down the edge they all need chopping right back soon and to be honest other than one or two bits and pieces, that's about it. And it's time to move on to spray the plum trees, which will be in another video. So thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.